Well, to settle the argument and to see which really is the healthiest in the world, I've called in registered nutritionist Charlotte Sterling Reed, who reckons it's going to be a close race to call. The Japanese diet is held to be a, a good one and, uh, and possibly reducing the risk of early death as well. The average lifespan of a Japanese female is up to about 87 years of age. In the UK here, I believe it's around about 81. So they do have a very long life expectancy compared to a lot of other countries. But what about the med diet? The Mediterranean diet is backed up by a huge amount of research. So we know that there are lots of components of the Mediterranean diet that are very healthy and that lead us to improve our health if we follow it too. So come and grab your flags that you agree with the most. Who wants to go first? Oh, interesting. That is quite a mix. 50-50. What is it about Japanese food that you think is healthy? So good for us, I'm off to do some shopping. And I'll catch up with Charlotte later. Good luck. Thank you very much, everyone. All the best. Miss Charlotte to analyse and compare my Japanese and Mediterranean baskets. It looks like you've been really, really busy. And laid out in front of us like this, it's obvious these two diets have a lot in common. When you look at these diets, actually what you'll find that a lot of these diets do have in common is things like fresh fruits and vegetables, pulses and beans and lentils make up a, a fairly large part of the diet. Neither Yuki or Andrea chose to put meat in my basket. The same can be said for the fish that Yuki chose, so Charlotte thinks Andrea should have picked it too. Oily fish, is, I would say, is actually a component of both the Mediterranean and the Japanese diet. And it's full of, of good protein, it's full of healthy fats like omega-3 fatty acids, as well as vitamin and minerals. And alongside the lovely fresh veg, mushrooms from Yuki and these tomatoes from Andrea, Charlotte says the starchy carbs like rice and pasta have their place too. Carbohydrates get a bad name, but actually carbohydrates do contribute a significant proportion of nutrients to our diet. So, for example, they give us plenty of energy, they do tend to give us B vitamins, we also tend to get fibre from our carbohydrate food groups as well. So, from that point of view, they are very important. I think what I see, certainly in my practice, is that what we tend to do in the UK is we overeat our carbohydrates. Okay. Cheese? We're often told to restrict cheese, and that is because of the high saturated fat content of cheese. What I would say is that we do include Parmesan in the diet, in a Mediterranean diet, quite regularly. It tends to be a small amount. I'm going to push you for an answer. Uh, what are we saying? Is the Japanese or is the Mediterranean diet the healthier diet? If I had to choose based on what we've got here in front of us, I'd probably say, yes, the Japanese diet is, is ticking the boxes. But actually, the Mediterranean diet has been researched very thoroughly and always comes out trumps in a lot of studies. So we know that there is something about this Mediterranean diet that is very beneficial well if it sounds like charlotte's slightly sitting on the fence the truth is you don't have to follow any one country's diet and it's common sense really the key to living a long life is just eating a balance of fresh and healthy foods it's about context it's about the way that we eat as well as what we are eating there's no single foods that we can add into a diet that are going to to have magic improvements because it is about our diet as a whole and it's all about variety so we've got lots of different foods in front of us here and and that's what really good diets are about